from a dog running onto the court mid-game to Kobe betting half a million he'd hit this free throw. These are ridiculous NBA moments. And this pass from Draymond Green was absurd. Bounce it off of the head of Clay Thompson, trying to get it to Curry. Damn, he turned his head into a dartboard. But Steph Curry turned the court into a playground because he took a ridiculous shot from 61 feet. Man, only someone like Steph could hit that. And only LeBron could do something like this. Here comes James, stumbles down when approaching Iguodala. Yeah, this dude left a skid mark on the court. I didn't even know you could do that. But the king is known for ridiculous moments. Like the time he made a 90-foot shot. Look, easy. Oh! Whew, this man LeBron's out here throwing touchdowns. But Michael Porter Jr. is throwing down dunks. And the ridiculous part is, it's on his own teammates. Jesus, he gave his own man a facial. And uh, I think Paul Pierce did too, cause he once got on live TV and started spitting. He, we're just getting a taste of him. I'm like, you know, I'm tired of getting a taste of him. I want the whole load. Well, this dude's mind was somewhere else. But this fan was in the zone, cause he stepped up to take a half court shot for season tickets. And this happened. Come on, Billy, make some noise. All right, kid, come on. Let's go. Gentlemen, the goal buried it. Whew, my man's shot was on the money, but Corey Brewers wasn't, because he once missed a three pointer in ridiculous fashion. They've got numbers outside for Brewer, hoisting a three. Oh! Stuck that baby right against the rim. That's what you call a brick. Wow, that had me on the wedge of my seat. But this halftime performer was sitting pretty, because she pulled off a trick so ridiculous, it'll make you flip. Holy, that lady's got bowls. But Michael Beasley has balls. Cause he thought he could rub his teammate's knee without him knowing. Well, this oh. is what we just saw from the two of you guys. <laughs> no, from the one of us. <laughs> <laughs> my, my bad. My bad, I thought it was my own knee, cuz. <laughs> Luke said, no, I want you to touch my knee. What the? Well, this guy's nuts for trying that. But what Kobe Bryant did was even crazier. Cause as he stepped up to the line, Gerald Wallace started talking trash, saying he wouldn't make his free throw. So, Kobe bet him 500,000 he'd make it. Oh well. He loves it this time, relishes it. And he and Gerald Wallace are having a conversation. That's Kobe and Gerald Wallace going at each other while Kobe's on the free throw line. Gerald's still talking to him as Kobe's about to shoot the biggest free throw of the night. Three point game, 4.8 to play. 500,000. Man, Kobe was nasty for that. But this fan is just sick, cause he finally made it on the big screen, and this is what he did. Damn, I don't know what he was thinking, and I don't know what the Raptors were thinking either, cause they once tried to set a screen by forming a human wall. OG Anombi and Serge Ibaka, double screen, triple fail. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> they didn't get no pick. Uh, let's try this again. Well, they say teamwork makes the dream work. But there was no teamwork with the Bulls. Cause in the game against the Knicks, they forgot to send a player to inbound the ball. Bulls. Nobody is inbounding the ball. Watch all five bulls <laughs> running around trying to get the ball. Bulls are supposed to be having their best season ever. Uh, the, without the game. <laughs> oh, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. Hey, pass it. Like, what are you doing, idiots? <laughs> what are you doing? Damn. Chicago's on their bullshit. But this next player is on drugs, because he took one of the most ridiculous free throw shots I've ever seen. One point. This dude wasn't even trying, and neither was Dennis Schroeder. Only difference is, he still made it. 
Schroeder at the horn. Oh, it's good! Dennis Schroeder doing some banking in New York City. <laughs> LeBron didn't want to shoot it, so he gave it up to Dennis. And Dennis said, all right, I'll take it. Look, and he's looking away like, no, you got to be tough. That is the most excuse me half court heave I've ever seen. Damn, how the hell's he knocked this down? And yet, Paul Millsap misses this. Over the top, Millsap! Oh, it comes off! Damn, poor Sap. But what's rich is this assist. Cause Mo Williams passed the ball off his opponent's face. Ooh, that had to hurt. But Charles Barkley was really hurting, cause his ass got a cramp while sitting down. I hate working here sometimes. Yeah. Do you it remember look. what it was? I remember, it's not funny, Kenny. Yeah, it is, it really <laughs> is. Here it is. Oh! <laughs> uh oh, crampage? <laughs> what, hand, uh oh, he gets the thing that I got when your hand no, is so squeeze, crazy. Squeeze it, squeeze it, top of your leg. Squeeze the top of your lip. That's it. Squeeze, squeeze the what? Top of your lip. Squeeze the top of your lip. <laughs> Y'all got jokes around here. <laughs> Y'all got jokes I'm telling you, this can work. You don't want to do it. You got to catch a crap. You don't want to do it. Uh, squeeze it, it works. Early it's not. It, it did work. That, did, the, did the cramp go away in time? Yeah, I, Eventually? I'm calling HR, man. This man Chuck got a Charlie horse. Ridiculous. But hey, that's just what you expect from Charles. I mean, after all, he's the guy who was caught playing with his balls on national television. I, I, I'm kind of got two juggling two balls right here. Because on one hand, I'm Is really proud. what you're doing? Yeah, I'm really proud of what the Grizzlies did. It's so silly, man. You're just yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. All right, Charles. Tell us how you really feel. But look, Chuck's not the only thick boy acting up, because this Milwaukee fan went buck wild. Ooh, my man was getting it. But ridiculous moments can get way crazy. Like the time that a dog ran out onto the court mid-game. Or when a mascot hit a half-court shot facing the wrong way. Yeah, but first, I want to show you guys a way to get paid while watching the NBA playoffs. I'm talking 20 times your money. Yeah, and all you got to do is download Underdog Fantasy. See, most fantasy leagues are over, but with Underdog, you can still play fantasy sports and win huge cash prizes, like their Pick'em game, where all you got to do is pick if a player will have a higher or lower stat during a game. And considering Jokic is averaging 10 assists a game, I think this is a pretty easy choice. And if you get just five picks right, you'll 20 times your money. Yeah, I like them odds. So listen, I'm going to be using Underdog for the NBA playoffs. And if you want to join me, click the link in the description, sign up using promo code REBOUND, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. That's a hundred bucks for free! But anyways, we gotta talk about this cameraman, cause he was sitting courtside and just filming the game, when all of a sudden... Going into the playoffs is the top seed. Look out, coming your way! LeBron, oh, nice catch on the camera, LeBron. Our man Gary took a spill. That was some impressive athleticism right there. Damn! Well, at least he saved the camera. But in our next ridiculous moment, something else was saved. Because watch how many players touch the basketball before it hits the ground. Loses it, walking the tightrope. Oh, Blake Griffin! Razzle dazzle! Oh, next level! Kevin Durant, the rack attack! And one of the highlights of the year! Well, that ball got passed around more than a Kardashian. And with that, we gotta mention Ben Simmons. Cause when he touches the ball, you never know what's gonna happen. Simmons in the paint. He's right here. And our good friends at start as they call this the wedgie. 
Finally, a shoddy can stick. And look, we've seen a lot of ridiculousness so far, but we still got one final moment. Cause back in 2013, Dwight Howard was feeling himself. So he walked over to half court and challenged the mascot to make a half court shot. And what happened next shocked everyone. Boy, and here's Dwight. Can he make it? Oh, get in the paint, big fella. <laughs> And then watch the mascot right here. Dwight how it's done. Man, someone give that mascot a 10 day. This range is ridiculous. And look, we've seen a lot of ridiculousness so far, but we still got one final moment. The time a dog interrupted a game. And the Bud Light dog is on the floor. And Dennis Rodman, an animal lover, helps that good looking golden retriever back to his master. Damn, look at my man Rodman saving the day. Oh, well, that's beautiful. But you know what's not beautiful? The fact that the NBA forced Allen Iverson to hide his tattoos. Yeah, and he's not the only one. We've seen everyone from Lonzo Ball to J.R. Smith all hide their tattoos. Why? Well, if you want to find out, you need to click on this video right here. These are NBA players with hidden tattoos. And, uh, well, this video's over, so you might as well click it, dog. I mean, what do you got to lose? Click it.